drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel in the next five seconds if you guys want Clombos to return in Season 2. The new Fortnite Season 2 update is here and it has brung so much new information about Chapter 3 Season 3, new Season 3 Battle Pass skins, the live event for this season, a load of free awards you guys can claim before Season 3, and much, 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 much more. So make sure you guys are paying close attention because Season 3 is going to be absolutely crazy. But 78.8% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you guys are hitting that big red subscribe button down below to help me reach that 1 million subscriber milestone. And you will have a better chance of receiving a gift if you guys are subscribed. And remember, I do gift 5 subscribers every single day. To people who do, drop a like on the video, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment with an epic idea down below. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please look at the and my support credit code Apple One. As it literally takes one second to put into the item shop, and it is the best way to support me that extra mile. Hope you guys do go and enjoy the video though, but let's get into it. Starting off is the new live event for this season and it is going to be a very, very big live event. The war between the Imagined Order and the Seven is now in its final stage of fighting for Tilted Towers with it getting destroyed in yesterday's update. You may have realized Tilted Towers has now been destroyed again. I don't know why they keep destroying Tilted, but it looks like something big is going to be taking its place next season. And this blimp will actually crash into the lake next to Tilted Towers. So next season, expect a very, very big POI to be replacing Tilted because I don't destroy Tilted Towers for nothing bro it looks like something incredible is going to be taking its place next season it could possibly be that dark tower that was in the files a long time ago it is rumored to be coming out of this chapter so this might be where it's going to be going and it's going to be something like the spire but much bigger and much more powerful let me know in the comment section below what you guys think is going to be replacing tilted towers but with it being at the final stage this seven would have pushed back the imagined order all the way to command's cavern and loot lake to where the live event will take place first off dr sloan will be moving location to the other side of the lake where she will begin the live event and for the very first stage and with it a new doomsday device will be coming up from the lake as Jonesy has been telling us on audio logs that the imagined order are currently building one in development that hints towards there are going to be more than one doomsday device in this event and he has told us to place recon cameras around loot lake as he suspects something weird is going on there so we do know where the live event is going to take place and here in the new loading screen we did get in yesterday's update you guys could see the final member of the seven called the order spying on dr sloan and in dr sloan's hand you guys can see a hologram this could possibly be of the brand new dark tower that i was talking about a second ago or the brand new doomsday device for this live event but this event will be taking place on june the 3rd on the last day of the season entering a downtime for season three so i'm telling you bro this live event is going to be absolutely crazy whatever is going to be replacing tilted towers next season is going to be pretty cool but this event is going to be absolutely nuts but talking about chapter 3 season 3 we have a lot of rewards you need to claim before then starting off with the FNCS rewards the FNCS qualifiers is going down right now which means the new rewards are available to redeem all you guys simply need to do is link your Epic Games account with your Twitch account and go and watch the FNCS on Twitch either watch Fortnite's official Twitch page or some pro players that have drops enabled like clicks and stuff and after watching a few hours of FNCS you'll receive two FNCS emoticons an FNCS spray, an FNCS loading screen and an exclusive FNCS bat bling that actually looks so sick. I'm definitely going to be watching the FNCS for this bat bling because it looks absolutely crazy but there is actually a way you can earn these rewards without linking your Twitch account. If you guys don't have a Twitch account, you guys want to put in this creative code 3303 7480 and this will put you into the Legends Landing map where you guys can actually watch the FNCS inside of here and Fortnite will recognize your inside this creative map and the rewards will be put straight onto your account which i think is really cool if you guys are too young and not allowed the twitch account make sure you guys are putting in this creative code to watch the fncs and redeem your rewards for completely free we then have a bunch of new peely rewards which looks to be coming with some sort of peely trials where we'll be able to unlock the bedside nana back blink and the peely jamas wrap for completely free which i think is going to be pretty cool we don't know when these are going to be coming out but they'll definitely be coming out before the end of the season but we might even be seeing a Peely in pajama skin come out as well, which I think would be pretty funny, bro. We haven't got a Peely skin in a very, very long time. So keep an eye out for these rewards coming out very, very soon and possibly coming with a Peely in pajama skin. A free refund token was added in this update where you guys can now refund the Beach Jewel skin without using a refund token. They did update the skin textures for this skin and made her tattoos darker in this update. And if you guys don't like this skin, you can now refund the Beach Jewels without using a refund token. As you guys know, these refund tokens are very, 
very rare. We only get one every single year now. Coming up to our second refund token. So if you guys don't like this skin, you don't even need to use a refund token, which I think is really, really good. So make sure you guys are redeeming this Beast Jewel skin if you guys don't like the brand new change. There was a brand new Master Key Wrap added in this update with the same design as the Hunt Master Saber NPC around the map. So we could be seeing the Hunt Master Saber skin come out as an outfit very, very soon as well, which I think would be pretty sick, bro. This skin looks absolutely crazy. And he'll also be coming out with his black style as well, which I think is going to be pretty cool, bro. I can't lie. This skin would look so, so sick. And the wrap actually does look really cool. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys do want to see the Hunt Master Saber skin as an outfit in your locker very, very soon. New Star Wars challenges are now in game for you guys to complete. And they are so easy, bro. They are so, so easy. All you guys need to do is complete all five challenges to unlock the exclusive Star Wars banner. And when you completed all five challenges, you'll get 150,000 XP for completing them all, bro. It's really, really easy to do these as well. I'm not gonna lie. I've nearly already completed all of mine. So make sure you guys are doing this. Before the update did drop, though, Wanda Maximoff was actually leaked, and she'll be coming out as a skin most likely in tomorrow's item shop. A day before the film drops, the new Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness releases on Friday, and this is going to be an absolutely crazy film, bro. I'm definitely gonna go and watch it, bro, because it looks absolutely nuts. But we might even be seeing a brand new Doctor Strange skin come out as well. It's in the movie he has so many different versions in the film and we could be seeing at least one of these get put into the item shop with Wanda Maximoff so let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see another Doctor Strange skin but Wanda should be coming out on Thursday night but it's now time to talk about all the season 3 leaks we have so far in this new Star Wars trailer it showed off all the lightsabers but at the very end you guys could see a skin teaser for Obi-Wan Kenobi obviously in game now his new lightsaber is actually in game the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber so we do know he is coming into the game and he'll be dropping on the 27th of May that is when his new series does drop on Disney Plus but in this series Darth Vader will be playing a very very big part in it apparently but he was actually leaked in the Unreal Engine 5 trailer but then a few hours later he was confirmed to be coming into season 3 as a tier 100 battle pass skin and as a mythic boss next season dropping his new mythic Darth Vader lightsaber which will be super super overpowered as he was the strongest Sith in all the films but in the sky, you guys can actually see a Star Destroyer, which is actually from the First Order. So it looks like we will be getting some sort of Star Wars themed season next season, which is going to be pretty cool with the First Order coming to the island after Dr. Sloan called for them. According to the Stormtrooper NPC's description, it looks like Dr. Sloan did call for the First Order to come and help her defeat the Seven. And it looks like Darth Vader and Dr. Sloan will be working together next season, which is going to be really, really interesting. But if you guys do remember, the last time we had something to do with Star Wars, coming to the island the empire was in the sky and at the end of the event the emperor was actually talking about the day of the sith and this could possibly be the returning of the day of the sith as the empire could possibly be returning to the island for the same reason galactus came to the island and for the ultimate power in the universe the zero point so keep an eye out for more star destroyers possibly popping up in the sky very very soon and maybe even emperor palpatine's ship popping up very very soon as well it's going to be pretty cool let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited but we should be seeing some new Star Wars POIs released next season as well. Possibly Mustafar for Darth Vader's POI over at the Volcano, as it would make total sense for here, because the Daily Bugle and all the Spider-Man things will be completely gone next season. And maybe even a huge Empire base where Tilted Towers is originally, as something big will be replacing it for next season, but it's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully you guys are excited for next season, bro. Darth Vader is going to be a very, very cool thing. And another skin was also leaked in the Unreal Engine 5 trailer, which did say Jones, which could be referring to Prisoner Jonesy, as this skin looks to be the new outfit for Jonesy, as we have seen him again in the Season 2 trailer in his Prisoner outfit, and again in the new Marvel comics this season. So we could finally be seeing Prisoner Jonesy skin coming to the game next season, which I think this skin would be so, so sick. But if we are seeing Obi-Wan Kenobi at the end of this season, and Darth Vader next season, we should be seeing some other Star Wars skins in the Battle Pass. Maybe a droid skin, which I think would be pretty cool. A clone skin, possibly. Maybe a Darth Maul skin because Darth Maul is also supposed to be making a return in this Obi-Wan Kenobi series or maybe even Luke Skywalker for the seventh side to go against 
Darth Vader. It's going to be pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are excited for next season. It's going to be a very, very big one of all this Star Wars information. Make sure you guys are redeeming all of your rewards before next season as well. And the live event is going to be a big one. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Remember, if you guys aren't around here, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button for me. Help me reach 1 million subscribers before the end of the season. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider using my support credit code Apple One. As it literally takes one second to put into the item shop, and it is the best way to support me that extra mile. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.